Father God, we just give you the glory and the honor to come before you, Father, that you would allow me to come into the throne room of grace, that you would hear my prayers and my petitions, Lord, and that they would be a sweet aroma to your nostrils, Father. I thank you, Lord, already for doing a mighty work within me. Holy Spirit, I ask that you would speak a prophetic word unto your people. The Lord says, I am rebuilding your strength and reestablishing your footing. To those who have ears, let them hear. Stand firm and stay focused. Do not shrink back nor retreat. Even as you find yourself walking in the midst of a strong and violent wind, a wind that has come in to derail and sabotage your progress, fear not, for an even greater and mightier wind will come in and I will bring the whirlwinds of my peace that will counteract and reverse the power and strength of every opposing wind and force that has come against you in this season, saith the Lord. Be still. Stay calm for the empowering whirlwinds of my Holy Spirit will now lift and carry you, pushing and propelling you forward into the lands of your promise, your purpose, and in your inheritance. I am restoring to you the years that the swarming, crawling, consuming, and chewing locusts have eaten. For I am rebuilding what has been torn down and replanting what has been uprooted in this hour. I am rebuilding your strength and reestablishing your footing, saith the Lord. Have I not said that I am the divine architect and the master builder? That even now in this hour, I am restoring and reassembling brick by brick, stone by stone, from where the rushing winds and heavy storms have come in, causing displacements and a dismantling of the pathways of provision. Fear not, for I am now reinforcing and renewing hope to the hopeless. I am opening up a new way before you. Stand still, stand firm, and watch as I bring back together the fragmented pieces and broken places. I am mending what once was broken. I am relaying and expanding your foundation, taking you deeper, rebuilding in you foundations that cannot be shifted nor shaken. My chosen, I am even rebuilding faith in this hour. Look, a new dream, a new vision is before you. Watch as I unroll the scroll of fresh blueprints and watch as the puzzle pieces are coming together. I will take you to my mountain where you will receive insight of new strategy. It is time to receive. I am releasing new dimensions and new plans to you through my word. Those who have cried out to me, I will reveal the mysteries. And as we go deeper and build higher, what has been hidden and wrapped up in the realms of mystery will now become clearer and more transparent. Allow expectancy to rise up within you.
My strength will cause you to keep moving and advancing you in faith and in hope. For now is a time to arise and shine for the light has come. Those of you who have grown weary and faint in heart in this last season will be strengthened in the transition. You will have endurance. And you have been refined and tried by the fire. You have not come out the same just as you went in. For I am the God Elroy. I am the God who has seen you. And just as I was there in the furnace with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, I was there with you, saith the Lord. For those who have ears, let them hear. Father, may we never cease in prayer. May you strengthen us in these difficult seasons. And may you be the strong tower in our life. May you carry us in our time of need. And may you show us how to posture our heart to receive your strength. Lord, I need your supernatural strength and power in my life. I know that apart from you, I can do nothing. I acknowledge the areas in which I feel weak and powerless. I acknowledge that I need to fully rely and trust in you. I ask, Lord, for you to help me to lean not on my own understanding as mighty storms and rushing winds come against me. I pray that you give me strength and power that I know can only come from you, God. Lord, you are my strength. You hold the supernatural rest that I need. Thank you for reminding me that I can come to you to trade in my exhaustion, my thoughts, my pain, my burdens for your refreshing and rejuvenating spirit. You are where I find my strength. As I come to decisions in my life that are difficult, may you give me strength and wise counsel. Reestablish my thoughts as the enemy has come in and tried to derail me from your truth and faithfulness in my life. Help me to stay focused and to set my face as a flint. Lord, in these seasons of weakness, I will turn to your word as you are my source of strength. Your word says that you give power to the weak. And to those who have no might, you increase their strength. As I walk through the valley, you lead me to your holy mountain. And there I will receive all that you have for me. Though I may have gone through rough terrain, you have helped me through it. I come against any and all spirits that wear down the saints, Lord. May you bind up the strong man that comes to cause distraction, doubt, and lack of trust. And may you loose your peace, your wisdom, supernatural strength, and your revelation to me. In Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I hold you to your word. In Psalms 46, it says that you are our refuge and our strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth may give way and the mountains may fall into the heart of the sea, and though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging, you are there, Lord. And in Psalms 119, your word says that my soul is weary with sorrow. But you strengthen me according to your word, God. And so I hold you, Lord, to your word. I give you the honor and the glory, Father. And I thank you in advance already for giving me the supernatural strength that I need, Lord. I have victory, Father God, to come against my adversaries because you are my strong tower, God. 
You have anointed me, Father God, with your strength, Lord. And I speak these declarations and decrees in the name of Jesus Christ and in his authority and through his power. I declare and I decree that I am strong, firm, and resolute. I open my heart now and I receive an excessive dose of supernatural inward strength. I receive now the spirit of might that can withstand any and all attacks from the enemy. I declare and I decree that although I may stumble and fall, I place my hope in the Lord. For he will renew my strength and I will soar as with eagle's wings. And when I run, I will not grow weary. And when I walk, I will not get tired. I declare and I decree it is the overwhelming power of God that gives me strength. I declare and I decree that I have no fear because I know that you are with me. For I will not be dismayed because you are my God. And I will declare and I will decree that you are my strength, my help, and you will uphold me with your righteous right hand. I declare and I decree strength and honor are my clothing. And I declare and I decree that it is the Lord that arms me with strength and makes my ways perfect. I declare and I decree that the Lord is faithful and he will establish me and guard me from my enemy. And I will declare and I will decree that though I may be hard pressed on every side, I am not crushed, perplexed, but I am not in despair, persecuted, but I am not forsaken, struck down, but I am not destroyed. May you stand bold and declare and decree the strength of the Lord within you. In Jesus' name, so be it.